All right, everyone, how are we doing? This video has taken quite a bit to make. Um, for some reason, just had difficulty. Um, the recording equipment in here, this is not where I normally burn the incense. So that's probably a big reason, just moving everything over here and getting it here. But for you guys, I have. Um, let's get into this. And um, another thing popped up was a special uh, thing. This is usually how I start my Mondays. I've talked about it for many, many reviews, videos, and put in how I like to use incense. This is originally my day changer fragrance or, or what I use to get the week started. <laughs> Um, for a couple of years now. Um, now I got a really professional setup. Wanted to talk about that. It's easy. You guys all remember the Dixit and Zach order? Oh my goodness, now I lost that stuff. It's right here. It's not lost. Check it out. I get the oud there. So that's, um, I got a bunch of nice ones from inside that smell good. This smelled good, but it was bang for buck. That's, I just took, it was a bundle. I took it, so did it. Um, okay, the, the burner that we have here, check this out. Um, hopefully this comes up on here. This is from Abdinbi et Tella. How cool is that? Huh? Um, anyways, um, hopefully that showed. We'll see. Um, here we, my GoPro wouldn't sync. So anyways, we'll get to that. So check this out. This is the digital thermometer here. And we'll start with a little bit of oud. He gives you these. He gives you a bunch of these with it. I, I paid for this just so we're clear. Um, these are not ch cheap, these subatism burners. So um, I'll get to close up on that. Check this out. And then the dial that you really dial in your, your oud here. And um, I, I, br see, I brought those out. You just don't want to drop those. So this is a little case that comes in. You break up your expensive oud especially. You break it up and just put it in the jar and put it by there. A uh, little as long goes, I mean, a little goes a long way. Usually only once have I gone through a big stick and I just wanted to. But um, check this out. I just put a little thing on there. And my oud, I like a little lighter. So, I mean, I, I start it till it burns. And this will instantly um, heat up. And you can see the burner goes up. I don't want to flip it around. So, I mean, we're going to instantly smoke out of this and it's going to And I might do some Instagram posts on this to get like the overhang shots that everybody gets and whatnot. I can already get a scent from it. I don't I don't know if the smoke's showing at all, but <sighs> instantly. I mean the incense is, is is amazing that you get from it. Is that beautiful or what? And that's going a little too hot for me. And this will create the soap, the oil bubbles that people crave on it. So I'll turn it, you can see a bubble. Well, let's turn it up on high just to see. I'll show the bubbles online. See that on the sides? Shit, yeah, I'll be able to zoom into that. Very good. That's pretty cool. And then it just fills the room that you're in. Um, it'll last a good morning. 
Um, sometimes the afternoon I'll smell it too. So that's good. I mean, incense has been used since the beginning, burning incense is as far as depends what your beginning is. Um, but the recorded Bible, the beginning, it's it's in there the the whole way. Um using it as, as gifts to royalty, prayers to God. And then um if you study it, cultures have repeated that uh the same way as in to, even to today where royalty so um yeah it's 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 an amazing thing it's become for everybody. What should we um do? Oh, this I want to showcase this also. Um check this out. So uh, I'm gonna turn this off really quick. And um I don't know if this is stuck or not to it. No, it's the oud, you get to reuse these plates with the oud. But with resins, you don't. I burned incense and whatnot. I've only burned this once. See how it's stuck to the bottom of, of that? This is hot right now. That's funny. So if you see how it's stuck to the bottom, this is um, palm copal. It's a rare uh, resin uh, from Mexico that um, turned in. This will really fill up the room strong uh, in it. And um, it was an accident. My copal that I ordered, I got an order of, uh, I ordered quite a bit from my teachers that I've been showing and whatnot. And um, I got this uh, as a gift. And then I just went to order some more stuff from Teolia. And um, hopefully, let's see if we have her stuff up here. From Teolia and she, um, said she just got some of this in, and it's very rare. How did you know about it? Asked me a ton of questions. Like, nobody knows about this stuff. And um, it looks like it's already sold out. Bummer. Oh, no, there it is. So the Palm Copal Incense, hopefully it shows here. So this is uh, teolia.shop up here. And I'll try to remember to put in the description. And it's this one right here. This, this, this uh, man. Check it out. And then it, it came right here in a banana leaf. And you can read about it. And she's like, this is really rare that I even got this. The smell is, if you smell copal, it's got that on top. It's also got the tree bark in there. Very, very savory at the same time. Super savory with that crisp frankincense has that crisp citrusy top. This is even just more clean, if you will, more zesty, if you will. It doesn't have the body and, and, and base of frankincense that, that carries a perfume, but the top is just stellar. And um, it's just got this weird, it's it's different. They use it for like Day of the Dead is a big celebration in, in the Mayan culture, Mexican culture. And um, they, again, only on rare occasions, they get this, they make it especially for those. It comes in this, um, this has like what, 15 to 25 in here. So I don't, I, I haven't opened the count. It's a mess. I mean, these are very rare to get. She, again, people make them. So um, once they're gone from her, they'll be gone for a while. The smell is, is, yeah, it's got the savory, clean smell. Like, I don't want to say beef broth, but but this savory, deep vegetable, herby, rich, rich, condensed smell with the clean citrus. It's It's an interesting incense. It's definitely not for all the time, but it's calming. It's relaxing. I mean, come on, that's what we use incense for, or those things, is to just really reset the mind, reset the day, refocus your energy. And um, I mean, we're, 
We all need it. I know I do. This is today. This is probably one of my most stressful days. And I'm like, you know what? I just got to get this video out. And it's like been hanging on me for a month because I, I, I should, it's one of the first person I ever told I'd do a video for. And, and for two years, I never told anybody I would. It, it was just a thing I'd go do, no pressure. Didn't want to have all that behind me, pushing me. I, I can't stand it. Um, there are guys that offer me samples and then they try to give me instructions and I'm like, dude, I'll pay for your samples. I'm not putting up with this. But so it's just waited on me. And I just like, I got to get it out for this guy. Great guy. Fantastic guy. Um, I want to support what he's done. Nobody's made these a lot cheaper than, than what I found. I almost found, I think it was the same thing for double the price, but um, I'm not positive, but he came highly, highly recommended and went for it and yeah, it saves your oud burning it this way because you control the temp. It's just easy on off when you want it so you don't have the coal and, and all that mess. But uh, Subitism Burner by Abdimbi. I think I said that right, right? Abdimbi et Tela. So there it is and whatnot. Oh, I see what I did. Yeah, and then you can see the resin burning right there. So this is the second time I've burned the same piece and it hasn't boiled over frankincense. You can only use a little bit of frankincense on these droplets because they uh, frankincense will um, the frankincense will pour over that and get on the, the main piece and whatnot. So you got to be careful with the frankincense resins. This one, I, I, the way they cake it together, just doesn't really oil up. The scent is extraordinary here. It's starting to develop. I'm swiping it. Well, you can. I have a GoPro too. Oh man, amazing. Anyways, I, I told people to show you how I burn my incense. It's kind of cheap. I have incense sticks too. That's how I started with, because it's uh, easier. Um, but then I, I did the charcoal. I still have a couple pieces, but it's just. It burns the oud too fast. I tried the tricks. You know, there's tricks that people have online with wrapping it in tin foil to slow the heat, but this, this, this is the way to go, especially when you start buying expensive oud chips. And I was looking at getting Kiara, and I'm like, there's no way I'm going to ruin a piece of Kiara. So you want like your Kiara in the slowest, slowest heat possible to just to keep it and just bring it up to heat and get that smell for as long as, as possible. Um, then it does resins like this perfectly for me. This smell, I was trying to, it's just herby getting a green, a green punch in there too. The, um, it, it's just a well-rounded fume. I mean, yet yeah, right now my mind's like, can we make this into an essential oil and get the smell and perfume? It's just got this verbaceous base. I've never smelt it before. I, I have smelt certain scents in there before, the earthiness, the greenness, the copal, the sharp top. It's like a full perfume in the scent sense, but then the, the savory thing is special in this. It's addicting. Anyways, guys, love you guys. All love from the channel. Incense. Be blessed. <laughs>